Hello again guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the Tui Blue Coral Sea Sensatory Hotel in Sharm El Sheikh. So sit back, relax and grab yourself a cocktail. Hello again guys, thank you so much for joining me in this video today. I really, really, really appreciate it. As you all know, we are back at the Tui Blue Coral Sea Sensatory Hotel in Sharm El Sheikh. Last year, our breath was taken away and this year was no different. I'm going to show you exactly why in this video today. With its long, sweeping drive leading up to the very simple, yet perfectly designed entrance, your mind is blown instantly. This hotel has a lot of hidden treasures inside. You wouldn't think it from looking on the outside, would you? But you'll see as we walk through these double doors, the lobby is something spectacular. With its gorgeous neutral tones and absolutely stunning lighting, this hotel is sure to be one of your favourites, just like it is mine. As we walk through to the um, piano bar, actually, you will see the machine in front of me where you can book the a la carte restaurants. Now, there are plenty of those dotted around this lobby, so you don't have to worry about waiting for someone to finish uh, because there is always one available, as well as the multiple seating you see in right now. <laughs> So as we walk round, we are going to enter the lobby bar, uh, sorry, the piano bar. I should know this because we spent every evening there. <laughs> if you're getting the drinks in guys, mine is a body and coke. <laughs> So every evening there is a wonderful musician playing that piano and the music is gorgeous. It really sets the scene for your holiday. Just vision it, cocktail in hand, watching the guy on the piano, maybe take a trip out onto the balcony like we did to watch the sunset. Perfect, perfect and perfect. <laughs> and as I say, more seating perfect <laughs> so to the right is where the Tui reps uh, go into that room so if you've got a question guys then feel free to use them that's what they're there for so as you will see there are multiple shops down here um, toilets to the left obviously just in case you needed to go if you've had too many cocktails of course <laughs> but yeah the shops are either side of me right now they have a perfume shop a photography shop a gift shop a jewelers which do some fantastic pieces um, they've got a sunglasses and handbag shop um, as well as a shop to buy all your gear for the aquatics I didn't go as far down to the end of the corridor, which you see right now, but down there, there is a barber's, which I did use, and a doctor, which thankfully I didn't have to. But if you need to, then there is one there, which is wonderful. And guys, these shopkeepers are perfect. No hassle at all. Um, feel free to use them at, at, at your own choice. Um, you're not pushed to buy anything. Uh, they allow you to browse, which is lovely. So I actually see an empty unit to the left there. Hmm. That gives me an idea. If I ever want to stay in Sharm El Sheikh, then maybe I can open my own shop here. <laughs> Just kidding. So guys, 
guys, we're going to walk back through to the lobby now. Yeah, so that is one of the wonderful cleaners of this resort. They work morning, noon and night to make this hotel perfect for you all. It is spotless here, absolutely spotless. They work so hard, the staff, and they're, they're friendly with it. And I think that is so, so lovely. Where else do you get that? They love their jobs. And I really get a nice feel when I'm in this hotel, no matter what staff member you are talking with at the time. So guys, as we walk up the stairs of this gorgeous marble flooring, we head through to the lobby bar. We used this bar a couple of evenings, um, but as I say, we did go to the piano bar uh, the majority of the time, but this lobby bar is lovely. And look at the view. Look at the view peeking through those windows. How can you not love this, guys? How? <laughs> Again, wonderful seating areas and a gorgeous fountain in front. So we're going to head out now onto the terrace. The wonderful thing about these bars, guys, you don't have to get up to get your drink. Literally, it's table service. Everywhere, everywhere. The pool, the bars, the restaurants, lovely absolutely stunning. Oh, guys, I'm recording this on my last day here and oh, I really don't want to leave here. I've had such an amazing holiday. Um, me and Ash have and yeah, I'll be so sad to leave. Wow, what a view, incredible. As we make our way out onto the second terraced area of the hotel, you will see this stunning seating, perfect for those photos, guys. Um, and to the right of me, you will see the Casabianca restaurant, which is one of the a la carte's. And this one in particular is the Italian and it is gorgeous. Definitely one of my favorites, and I've spoken to others as well, and that seems to be the popular choice. So I definitely recommend it. And another bar, because you can never have too many. <laughs> So, as we walk past this gorgeous seating area, you have the um, Mahaba restaurant to the left. That is a, another a la carte restaurant which sell Middle Eastern food and that was gorgeous. As you would have seen in the vlogs and you'll see in the upcoming vlogs, I love it there. Literally everywhere you look is perfect. I can't get over it. <laughs> so as you walk through here, this is actually where our first room from when we stayed here last year was situated. And that is right by the family area. So if you have children and you don't wish to be by the main pool, there is this section here specifically designed for those with children, which is amazing. The pool itself is wonderful and you're sure to all have fun here. So as we walk through, you can see there are plenty of sun lounges available. Absolute plenty, which I find in resorts, that's often an issue. But here, 
there really isn't one there are plenty of beds and they are all separate from each other as you can see which i think is one of the perks of this hotel you're you're not feeling like you're crowded and i love that So as you can see directly in front of me, there are a few water slides here. Um, we are yet to try them. I'm on the final day right now. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that one. Um, but they look great, don't they? And of course the kids pool and an another bar. <laughs> So directly in front of me is another little area, I guess this is for the real young ones, um, that at the top of it, that bucket turns over and splashes water everywhere, uh, which looks fun. <laughs> So we're currently walking down to the venue. Here at this hotel, they keep all the entertainment in one place and it's purpose built, um, as you'll see in a moment. But a lovely walkway with the nature beside, wonderful. I like the fact it's kept um, kept separate from the main hotel because if this entertainment isn't your thing then you can escape it um, and you can't hear it either so that's good but if this is something you like to go to then it's almost like a little night out isn't it <laughs> um, yeah it's amazing in here this holiday is actually the first time we went inside and as you can see right now, wow. There aren't many resorts that have an area like this. So we're just making our way through the gardens now, guys. Uh, we've got the activity pool to the left of me and the wonderful flowers to the right. <laughs> the gardeners here, wow, how do they work in this heat? And they do such an incredible job as well at keeping this resort tidy, clean and um, well kept. Oh, just 
just look at those blue skies. There's not a cloud in sight. That is my kind of sky. <laughs> So we're going to take a walk to the spa and gym area, which by the way guys is fabulous, as you'll see in a moment. We've got the Tehran restaurant directly in front of me, but I'll show you that one in a moment. So as you can see to the right, there are swim up pools, uh, swim up rooms, sorry. And these are the pools that those rooms can have. So I think it's like six or seven rooms to a pool. Uh, there's like a cut off at some point down the line and then the next one starts. Um, but what a cracking view. If, if I was staying there, I would not leave. I'd be having breakfast, lunch and dinner in that pool, looking out over that stunning beach. So as you can see, we're approaching some stairs um, to the right of me. You head all the way up those, and that is where the spa and gym is. And to the left, there is this gorgeous place for yoga. And yeah, what a way to start your day. Looking out over the beach while stretching, lovely. And of course, showers for after. <laughs> Okay, so we've made our way up the stairs. This is the view you get from outside the gym and spa. Amazing, right? <laughs> you can see over the entire resort, which is one of the reasons why I love it. <laughs> so let's go into this gorgeous spa. Oh, I can smell the lemongrass as I enter here absolutely beautiful smells incense sticks and oil burners are burning throughout as you walk through and oh it sets the scene perfectly So we're going to head into one of the massage rooms. Um, there's a few in this spa, but this is the one I'm going to show you today. And the view is magnificent. Relaxing or what? Now for me, where we are about to head is the main attraction. Just look. The rooftop terrace with sun lounges and jacuzzis. Ah, oh, lovely. It couldn't get more relaxing than this, could it? They've really thought about this, haven't they, when designing it? So we're gonna show you the wet area of the spa now, uh, because it does have its own pool and more sound, uh, sun lounges inside. 
um, just in case you want to escape the sun and be in a place that's even more tranquil than this resort the design is so calming isn't it I think that's one of my favorite things about this hotel is the designs So we're just walking past the saunas uh, to make our exit from the spa. Thank you to this wonderful lady for showing us around. It's been lovely. The perfect tour guide. Thank you. Okay, so we're heading into the gym now. Get your weights ready. <laughs> so this is a very good gym. They've got all the latest equipment, which is amazing. Uh, we visited this many times and I love every moment of it. I wish I could pick it up and take it home. <laughs> um, and there's also this room, I'm unsure what people do in here I'm guessing it's like a yoga room because there are yoga mats on the floor so if you don't fancy um, practicing yoga on the beach you can do so here in the aircon and of course take some bottles of water and some clean towels on your way out Oh, I felt that sun hit me then as we walked out, did you? <laughs> okay, so we've walked back down the stairs and we're heading back towards the pools and the restaurant. I'm enjoying this view with you, literally. Oh, look at the pinks, look at the green, look at the palm trees. Everything is just perfect, perfect.
so we are now making our way towards the main restaurant formerly known as the fountain view it is now called simply the restaurant and it is gorgeous in here With its simple decor and mood lighting and wonderful food, it is going to be something you want to visit every single day. So we visited here at breakfast on this particular one and there was a huge variety. Wonderful handmade cakes, egg stations, pancakes, the lot, you name it, all so tasty. Everything you see is decorated and laid out so, so beautifully. So in this restaurant there is a family section and also a separate section for adults only which is what you see in front of you right now. <laughs> there is also lots of seating if you wish to sit outdoors which is absolutely beautiful. The staff here in the entire hotel are so attentive and all your needs are met to the top standard. It's amazing. Ah, oh, just look at that water. Beautiful. Everything here is so picturesque. I can't even begin to describe. So we are now entering the main pool area, which is right opposite the restaurant. Handy or what? As you can see, again, plenty of sun lounges. So that is the activity pool. I think, if I remember rightly, they do volleyball in here as well. 
um, as well as lots of other activities. So if you, you're not like me and you don't want to just lounge all day, then yeah, that's the pool for you. There are also lifeguards on site as well. Um, they sit every day by the pool to make sure everything is nice and safe for the hotel guests. As you can see, if you'd rather a sheltered environment by the pool, then these beds here are perfect for that. There are also spare beds if you need to add on. Um, however, as you can see, there are lots available. So yeah, the chances are you won't need to. And there's the snack bar, delicious food in there. For if you want a lighter lunch. As you can see as well, showers are dotted around the section of the pools um, and the beaches. So if you wanna wash off the chlorine or the salt water, those are available too. So that pool right in front of us now, guys, is I would say the toddler pool. Um, so if you wanna sit by that and have fun with your little ones, then that's the pool for you. As you can see, I know I keep saying it, but what a spacious pool this is. So that is the towel hut. If you need spare towels, then that's the place to get them. However, those towels are dropped to your room every single night ready for the next day. And you fancy reading a book? You can leave your books there for others to enjoy. So this is the view from the main pool. It looks right over the gorgeous Red Sea. Oh, just look, the sun rising in the distance. Oh, what a dream. So there is a small stage you can see directly in front. That is in the middle of the pool where they provide some light daytime entertainment, which is really lovely for us to watch, I think. If that isn't for you, then I will show you the place to go very, very shortly. And there's another bar. <laughs> So right in front of us there, those stairs lead down to the pool toilets, which by the way, are spotless. So we can see now the infinity pool, which is my favorite. Ah, oh, just leaning over the edge and looking at that st 
stunning beach view really is a dream come true. So at this point, we are going to make our way to the adult's pool. But first, let's take a stop in Thea's coffee shop. If you're missing those coffees at home from Costa Coffee or Starbucks, then this is the place to go. Friendly staff, gorgeous cakes and lovely coffees. What is better? And overlooking the beach. Could you ask for more, really? <laughs> So as we walk over the bridge, we are heading towards the adults only pool. You have to be 16 and over to visit this one, um, as it's very, very quiet. So if you love a peaceful, quiet holiday, then this is the place to go. Our room is around this section and you can literally hear a pin drop. Very, very calming. As you can see, swim up rooms um, surround this pool, giving it a wonderful, wonderful look. As I'm sure you will all agree, this really does have a luxury feel about it. And that is one of the reasons why we keep coming back again and again to this hotel. Thank you. 
we're going to take a walk over these stepping stones and I believe our next stop is the wonderful beach here at the resort. As you can see directly in front of me, there is a play area for those children that wish to do so. Um, I didn't see many in there if I'm honest. I guess they're enjoying the pool. <laughs> and toilets to the right, perfect for if you're at that beach. So that is the aquatic section, um, there you can book all your water sports, we did do so which you'll see in the upcoming vlogs and it was so fun and such a great price. I don't know why we didn't do it last year but we definitely won't be making that mistake again. And that's Thea's coffee shop again for you to see. So, I can already feel the sand beneath my toes. <laughs> in front of me are hammocks, if you wish to lay there and soak up that sun. I did that. <laughs> and in front of me are the shaded beds, which is lovely if you want to get out of the sun just that little bit. But we are heading to the jetty. So just a quick one guys, the barmen also come to the beach so you don't even have to leave your beds here. The drinks are brought to you and very frequently as well. Can you see over in the distance that island? That is called Tiran Island which I guess where the name for the restaurant comes from. <laughs> that is a gorgeous view. And you can actually visit that island on a snorkeling trip. We did actually speak to some people whilst here that did so and they loved it. Lunch was also provided on that trip. This jetty goes right out into the ocean, above all the wonderful coral and sea life. And right at the end, you can jump off and enjoy some snorkeling, which this time round, I did. And wow, what a wonderful world there is beneath the sea.
can see people enjoying the snorkeling there. Hello. <laughs> and the staff are wonderful. They're there to offer assistance whenever you need it. So let's head back towards the beach. Look at that stunning sand and gorgeous coral. The views here are stunning. So we're going to walk through the aquatic centre, hello, <laughs> and we're going to walk towards the Tehran restaurant so I can show you inside there. Thank you. 
So as you can see, the Tehran is right next to me on my left and they serve lunch and dinner here. It is an a la carte dinner um, and I guess an a la carte lunch as well because it is brought to your table and you order off a menu and both of those times are lovely. They sell panini and fries and all things like that for lunch and Mexican in the evening and it's to die for. It is certainly one of my favourites. It is just a lovely view, no matter what time of day you choose to visit. And of course, drinks are served there during the day. So guys, we are very, very nearly at the end of this tour. I hope you found it helpful and useful. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you all again next year. It has been a wonderful trip here. We have loved every single minute of it. And I know that you guys will too. Please look out for my vlogs that are coming up. I am so excited to share this year's holiday with you all plus a trip to Cairo, which I'm really, really excited to show you. So if you lead up to there, that takes you to the Stone Grill restaurant, um, just in case you wanted to try that one out as well. It was gorgeous. <laughs> Well guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope that it was helpful. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as there are lots of videos like this one coming up. Thank you again for watching and until the next time, stay happy, stay positive. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Thank you.